Hello and welcome back to the channel. Today I've got exciting news because finally the Superbase integration is in Vault.diy. It's at the moment in the main branch, but soon also in the stable. And we want to check it out from the main today and test how it is working. Here on my screen, you can see the pull request by Kev, where is a description in um, how it works. If you would like to check this out and we go now to our bolt.diy folder. And by the way, if you did not already install bolt.diy, check out my install guides here linked on top and then you can follow. Okay. The first thing you need to do is go here in the, the prompt, open a terminal in this folder. Then we make sure we are in the main branch for this feature and we also make sure we get the latest changes with git pull. And after this, we can install the dependencies already done for me. And the next step is npm run dev. Run dev to start up bolt.diy. Okay, as soon as this is done, you can open it in the browser and we can go on. Now we are in the browser. I've seen in the community often cases where the styles are broken or something is not working properly. Um, just make sure after each update, you clean your cache. So uh, click right here somewhere on the screen on the page and click inspect or do F12 on your keyboard. Go to applications and here on the left side storage and clear site data. This will make sure everything is cleaned up and you start with a clean installation. But be aware your chats will be gone as well. So make sure you export your chats if you need them before you can do that. Here in the settings, users, um, you have to enable dev mode. And then let me quickly check where was it. Uh, here it's in data management. And then you can here export all chats. And you can also export your settings. And um, yeah, the API keys you can't download. You just can download the template and then put them in. As soon as this is done, you can see here in the chat the Superbase application icon. When we click it, it opens a model where you have to configure your access token. This one you can simply get by click get your token. It redirects to your Superbase instance. Just log in, go to access token or click the link again and then generate a new token here top right. I showed this uh, often in other videos for self-hosted Superbase, etc. No, not self-hosted, but the other video where I showed how to manually connect your app to Superbase. Um, yeah, give it a name here, YouTube test three. Then you see the token here, just copy it, go back to bold, paste it in, click connect. Now you are connected, you can see all your um, available projects from Superbase and you can also create a new one which will redirect to Superbase. You create one and then you need to refresh here to see it. The next step is to select one. I've selected the Superbase test in my case which already exists <coughs> and then we can implement an example app. So I prepared this prompt here, build a to-do app in React using Tailwind, persisting the data of the user in Superbase. So let's fire this up and see what we get. Okay, as you can see here, we now got this pop-up or yeah, this window where you can see the Superbase query. If you open the execute database query, you see the whole query, it will execute. And we will do this by apply changes. Let's do this. We can also see it here in the, the files. There is the create to do's table SQL in the supervised migrations folder. Now you can always look up the queries. So it creates a table to do's and does some other stuff, stuff like low role level security and so on. Now, if you go back to Superbase, we can go to the Superbase test project, tables, 
and there is a to do's table now okay let's see here maybe a quick tip while we are waiting you can use one superbase project for multiple web apps you just have to make sure you use then prefixes for the tables as you can see here i tested a bit and you just tell in your prompt that the tables should all have a prefix so the name of your app basically for example youtube test in my case here and then this will work so at least for testing it's good instead of uh, just creating um, again again new project and also if you are on the free tier of superbase you just can have two active projects so you would need to to at least pause projects to test other stuff which is a bit annoying if you test a bit more okay the application is now finished building and as you can see here we got a preview with sign in to your account and yeah we can also sign up let's test if this is working out of the box don't know if it just not shown anything yeah it just did not show a notification but the logging is working and now we can also add a to do with our second one let's check one and then go back to superbase <clears throat> and as you can see here we got the data sets in our table and one is completed and one is not completed so everything working as expected and by the way i showed uh, the settings for authentication and so on on my other video so check this out if you want to know more about the super base configurations this is exactly the same um, as in my other video okay what else do we have i think this is everything you need to know to get your app working and if you want to change your superbase account you can just go to um, this icon again in the chat interface click it and disconnect and then you are able to click again and connect another superbase account if needed yeah that's it uh, for the superbase integration and maybe just one hint i have seen there are some other tools coming soon so make sure you stay tuned if you want to get updates on this as well and yeah let me know in the comments what you think about the superbase integration if there are any bugs report them and have fun testing it out see you in the next one bye